I am Trinity Scott with Overnight Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Katana. This is a two player game that plays in about 15 to 30 minutes. Designed and published by Tracy Allen. If you enjoy this video, like and subscribe. To win, destroy your opponent's shields and health. <laughs> in a samurai battle. Let's get going. Set up. Each player draws three Kami cards and selects one and places it face up on the table. Now there's going to be a couple different areas that you have to pay attention with your Kami. One is the Kamikaze. During your attack action, you can sacrifice your Kami to deal seven damage to your opponent. There's also the passive ability. As long as your Kami is not polluted, you're able to use this ability at any time. If you charge up your Kami by giving it Purify, you can use the active ability. Also during setup, you're going to arrange heart and shield tokens in front of your Kami in that order, in the order that your Kami suggests. How to play. First, draw from the action deck until you have five cards. Second, take an action, attack or Purify to activate your Kami. Any time that you use the Purify card, you're going to take a card from the Shrine deck and follow the instructions on it. You may also discard any number of actions to draw new ones. Let's talk about attacking and defending. On your turn, if you choose to attack, your opponent will be able to defend with the cards left in their hand. In this case, they defended for the entire attack that you were able to throw at them. Now, you get a chance to attack again. You're attacking by two. Your opponent also is able to defend again. And this goes back and forth. For example, you attack by two, but this time your opponent decides to pollute your Kami instead. What happens now is your opponent does take the two damage because you attacked him by two, but your Kami becomes polluted and you're not able to do your passive ability now. The attacker will call out a stack of health and armor you want to attack when initiating battle. In this case, the attacker attacked with two, so the shield and the heart are going to be taken away. Now, medieval Japanese considered any contact with blood or as having a polluting effect, requiring purification to resolve. Therefore, eliminating an opponent's health pollutes your kami. Reflected attacks are self-polluting. You always have to attack the front row before you can attack the back. Third, designate a stance. You can play a stance face down at the end of your turn to wait for the beginning of your next turn. These stances are activated only if your opponent attacks. So for example, if you played this card as a stance, your opponent wouldn't know that you played it, but as soon as they attacked, that attack would be reflected back. This would give you plus one defense. This would shatter your opponent's armor. And this gives you plus one for a future attack. However, if your opponent does not attack, then you will discard your stance and play proceeds as normal. Play continues until one of the players loses all of their health. Pro tip. If you kamikaze, you get rid of your kami, but you can always get it back later if you play a purification spell and get rid of your armor. So, rid of one armor, you don't have to sacrifice all of them. But sometimes it's a pretty good move to do that kamikaze action, even though you have to get rid of your super awesome kami. Um, for more information, or if you have any questions on gameplay, please put it down in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Have a great day and stay happy.